Governor, thank you so much for joining us. I thank know you. it's been an incredible day, night for you. When you look over your shoulder and you see the key bridge that way and that massive cargo ship, what goes through your head? Uh, it doesn't look real. That bridge has been here longer than I've been alive. Uh, as Baltimoreans, like we, that, that's, that's part of our skyline. You know, 35,000 people go over the Key Bridge every single day. It's worth about $191 million of economic activity a day. Uh, it's a core part of who we are. And so, uh, so looking, at, looking at that uh, and knowing the, the heartache that a lot of families are feeling right now, it just it still doesn't feel real. When you run for governor, you think about days like this, but they're really not real until they actually happen. What has been the toughest conversation you've had today? Well, you know, I, I had a chance to spend time with the families earlier. And um, and these are remarkable people, brave and, and, and prayerful. Families and of the people that were on the families bridge? Families of the, of the, the people on the, the construction bridge. construction workers. And, um, and I had a chance to pray with them. I had a chance to pray for them. And, uh, and their faith. Um, that, that God was going to protect them and their loved ones was, was so strong. And, um, and I think it's also one of the things that when they let their family member go out that evening to go to work, they never expected that would be the result. And they, I think that's what they ask you why, why they were still on the bridge, why they weren't able to, to get off, why there wasn't enough time? Were they, were they confused? I, honestly, the only conversations I had with them, they were just, they were just praying. They were praying for, uh, for, for a, a positive result and just hopeful. I know at this point it would have to be a miracle. The construction company has told NBC News it's likely the six are not going to survive this. Are, are there still active search and rescue operations going on now, or, or is it search and recovery? Oh, this is very much search and rescue. Um, I, have, I have instructed every resource at our disposal it needs to go towards search and rescue. Um, that, uh, that air, land, and sea, all assets that we have available, are going towards making sure that, uh, that, that we can put our best effort forward uh, to be able to find survivors. Talk to me about the heroes. You, you mentioned them when you first spoke to the public earlier today and also about the river river pilots. We understand that they may have been the ones who first issued the Mayday call. Yeah, and that time between the Mayday call and actually hitting the infrastructure and the infrastructure falling, we were literally talking seconds. And I even think about the first responders, the, the, the law enforcement officers who immediately sprung into action to try to keep other cars from going on the bridge. They saved countless lives last night. I think about the first responders who, you know, we had people who, police officers, we had, we had divers in the water, uh, you know, literally in less than an hour right. after this happened. And these are people who are just, you know, when we say that we are Maryland tough yeah. and, and that we're Baltimore strong, these are people who epitomize what that means. The people of Baltimore, people of Maryland are, are going to want some answers, and I know maybe you don't have them right now. It took, I think, three years to build that bridge. It's going to take a long time to clean it up. It's going to take a long time to rebuild. How does the port of Baltimore, how does does this area get by with that bridge, that main artery now down? Yeah, I mean, well, first, I want people to know we are committed to getting this done. Uh, and, and we will get this done. And I'm thankful for the support of the Biden administration. I've already been on the phone with both the president and the vice what, president. What did you tell the president? What did you ask him? Did you ask him for, for anything? I, I, I told the president that we need him. And the president said, and you got us. Uh, and so hearing the president earlier at a press conference saying that we were going to rebuild this together, watching the secretary of transportation spend the afternoon in Baltimore, it meant the world to us because it really showed that this administration is going to stand with us every step of the way. Should America be worried? worried that it's a massive cargo vessel, but that it, it sort of hit this bridge and the whole thing collapsed. Does, does America need to be worried about its infrastructure? Well, I think it's important for all of us to take a, 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 real, a, a real focus on all of our nation's infrastructure. I think that's actually part of the reason why we've put so much focus on roads and bridges over the process of these past few years, because it is important that people have a sense of confidence in their roads and bridges and tunnels that we have, uh, you know, not just in our state, but all throughout, all throughout our country. If you look at what happened last night, uh, any vessel of that size moving at that speed, it, there's there's not many infrastructure projects that could have taken that. Uh, but we also do know this is still an opportunity for us to take a real understanding of the infrastructure we have in our country. No ships going in, no ships coming out. Have they given you any sense of when the Port of Baltimore will be back open? No, I, I know it's a, it's, a, it's a priority for us to make sure that we can get cargo and infrastructure moving again. Uh, but there is no set timeline because my focus right now is still very much on search and rescue. Governor Moore, we appreciate your time. We thank you for being with us. Thank you so much.
Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.